what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is marcos and today we're going to be repairing the stylo 6 check out the screen on this bad boy so uh i don't know it looks like they dropped it ran it over or something the frame's not too bent so we should be able to repair it pretty easy uh this is the boost model and um should be about the same for all the stylo 6 so uh let's get started uh before we get started also i would like to ask you to like this video and subscribe as it helps out the channel and if you like these videos let me know or if you have any questions in the comments below i'm available uh let's get started all right so first we're gonna i have a little little conair um what is it um hair blower as i needed to heat up the back you don't you can buy a professional one i use this one as i can carry it anywhere um yeah so i'm gonna heat up the the back and then remove the back so we want to heat it up and then we want to pry open this uh back cover we want to get in there. So as we're able to get in through the edges, you want to keep applying heat so that we can uh, keep removing and sliding this uh, thin utensil around the back so we don't break it. If you don't apply heat, you're going to break this and it's going to crack. But uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep applying heat and uh, keep sliding it around. Alrighty, so we were able to remove the back. Uh, now we're gonna get, we're gonna take out the motherboard so we can uh, uh, disconnect pretty much the motherboard and the screen. So we have to take all these screws out that are on, on here and we're gonna take off this bad cover so that we can get to the motherboard. There's quite a few uh, screws. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 13 14 about 15 14 and 15 screwdrivers i mean screws and you just need one of these little screw thingies i got mine and i fix it and sorry for the movement my stand it's kind of flexible so it moves um yeah so let's get these off and then we'll show you how to remove this back plate all righty so we moved we removed all the screws uh right now it's a perfect time could have you could have done this earlier as well remove the stylus and also remove the SIM tray as, as we're gonna have to remove the SIM tray to uh, remove the, what was that called? The motherboard. Uh, and then, sorry, not my pepper spray, but somebody else's pepper spray. Now we wanna kind of pry open this uh, back piece so that we can get to the motherboard. You gotta use a little bit of force, not too much, but, uh, yeah, kind of have to go work work your way around so it starts getting loose. Remember, this this phone might have been ran over or something, might have been smashed. So sometimes these things are like kind of stuck. So this goes away, and then uh, this one's the bottom half. And sometimes you can use your fingers to kind of lift it. And there we go. So the motherboard is exposed. Now we want to do is want to disconnect the the battery. Let's connect all these components so that we can take this out. So let's do that right now. And now the motherboard doesn't have any screws so we can take this out. same way you got to be patient kind of find a way to chisel this out all right so motherboard is out i like to keep everything kind of together and put that to the side and then now 
the good the good stuff comes out so because so this we're going to leave it here because we're still going to use the frame uh, hopefully the frame's not too bent so i'm gonna try and make it straight uh the screen i like to put some tape on top of the screen because this one was really beat up so this one we're just gonna uh go from the front and kind of peel it off here's the cable for the for the screen so we're gonna peel this out and um rip it off pretty much so since the screen's already damaged you can just literally just pull this out so that's the screen now we have to clean all this up so uh put some heat maybe and start taking this off or like um, sometimes it's better to use gloves too just because you don't want to get these little shards of glass on your hands um, I didn't bring any so um, yeah so you want to clean all this up clean up the frame so that we can apply the new screen and um, get it on get it on there so let me clean up this and then uh, I'll be back alrighty so the frame is clean it was a little bent and it kind of messed around with it so it wouldn't be so bent but yeah all the edges are clean um that's beautiful now so now what i like to do is i like to test out the screen so we have the new screen in here and i always like to put it on before i put on any tapes stuff like that i want to put it on i want to put it on here and see if it works because if it works we can uh, uh put on the glues and all that stuff but if it don't work then we got to get a new screen so So the screen's gonna lay like that, but there's no glue on there. And I'm gonna test the motherboard to see if it powers on and see if it works and see if everything runs smooth. So we don't have to connect everything, but just the battery pretty much and, uh, and the screen and the motherboard. I think we have to go in from this side. So, so screen's plugged in right now, almost. All right, it cooperated. Now let's plug in the battery. And now let's see if it'll turn on or do anything. Alright, so screen does turn on. I'm gonna give it a second so we can test the touch, and then later we're gonna um, we're gonna put in the, like the glue and the tape underneath so it, it gets stuck. But that's a good sign that we're doing something good. All right, so this step now we're gonna add some tape around the the, the inside so that uh, we can secure the the screen so it doesn't come off easily. So we're gonna add some of this red tape and um, it's pretty good, it's double-sided tape. So pretty much uh, you have to uh, secure the screen doesn't fly off. And then we're gonna use some uh, some glue. It's called, uh, we're gonna use some glue around the edges. It's called B7000. And that's gonna also help us keep the screen on so it doesn't fall off. So we're gonna add this tape along the edges so that it secures the screen as we lay it down. It's gonna secure the screen down. So um, yeah, pretty easy. And we can add this right here. And we're gonna put it all over, all around. And then some in the middle. So we're gonna add it right here. So pretty much what it's, it's gonna keep all the edges nice and stuck to the bottom. And then let me finish this and I'll come back and show you guys how it looks at the end. So that's what our tape looks like. We put it all around the edges so that the screen lays on it. It kind of gets stuck. And then we're going to use some of this glue and go all around. And then we're going to lay the screen and uh, pop out the cable over here and put everything back together. So, yep, that's what I would do. Alrighty, so now we put the screen on there. That, B, that B7000 glue is really good because it gives you time to kind of like put it on and then squeeze the screen but sometimes some residue comes off so you just got to take it off from this edge it's really easy to peel off um when it's not like stuck on something it's you just peel it off rubbing it off maybe a little bit of alcohol and it'll come off but that's what the screen looks like it looks really good and now we just got to put everything back together here's the cable for it and uh we got to put the motherboard and everything else back together so we can test it out
so it turns on good now we just want to put everything back together the camera the back piece and then put the screws back together and we're pretty much done we just got to put the back cover as well we're going to put some uh, tape on it and um and seal it back up so that you're gonna we're gonna put the screws back on here phone's turning on phone looks good we're gonna clean it up all this extra glue we're gonna clean it up for the customer and we should be good to go it has no battery so we're gonna put it in charge as well uh, tied up by glue and tape I'm gonna put some pressure on here, put some tape for uh, some rubber bands here to keep the screen kind of stuck on there. And then we're gonna put something heavy on it so it gets really stuck. Um, and then um, put the screws on right now before uh, we get done. All righty, so we're towards the end of the repair. Like I said, I put some rubber bands on here so the screen, the glue kind of sticks on there. Um, I'm still gonna put some like books on it for a little bit. There's also some clamps that you can buy to hold this down but I, I didn't bring mine today so as long as you put something heavy on it the glue is going to kind of uh, make sure that the screen gets stuck on there i put some rubber bands for now just to keep it hold um so like i said uh here at the back now we just want to clean up some of this residue and then put some new red tape and then we're just going to put it back on like this and then the repair should be complete pretty much and then we're going to put the phone to charge so you guys can see how it works Alrighty, so we added tape all around here. That's tape. And then we just gotta take off this tape. So this pretty much is gonna keep the the back from flying off. So we're just gonna take off this red tape. It's double-sided tape, so uh, pretty much you just gotta press firmly. And um, that's gonna keep the phone back on. So this is the back, we cleaned it. We cleaned it, we took off all the residue. And then now we're just gonna put it on here in the back like this and then press firmly and then now the back's on so that concludes our that concludes our repair so now i'm still gonna like lay something heavy on it or tie it up with some rubber bands so that it doesn't come off uh the phone is a little like dented but um it should survive i'm gonna tell the customer to get a case so that um the phone lasts a little longer and then yeah we're just gonna press the back so that the tape and everything sticks on and then that's what it looks like all right guys so here's the finished product screens on looks like the the brightness is kind of low oh there we go so i was able to play around with them so there's the screen phone's repaired phone looks good stylo six I'm still gonna put some uh, some weight on it so that the screen kind of uh, gets stuck on there a little bit more, and then uh, so that this doesn't come off as well. And then I'm gonna tell the customer to put on a put a, a case on it just in case. And yeah, so this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. So complete difference, and that's it. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully this video helped you out. And if you want to see more of this, uh, let me know. And if you have any questions in the comments below, please. Thank you very much. Have a good one.